What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kaz and we're all covering more infinite magic content and before we get into this showcase on Daisy and a build on her as well, please do click like, subscribe and comment below to help this channel grow. I can't thank all of you enough. So let's have a little look at why Daisy is a good hero. Is she good or is she bad? You tell me. Let's have a little look and find out if she is. Exclusives, emblems, auras, equipment, skills. Let's discuss. Uh, first skill, basic attack is powerful charge, deals 170% attack damage to a single enemy, critical hit is guaranteed for this attack if Daisy has an attribute buff. Now, it gets interesting, okay, it gets very interesting. Increases all allies crit rate by 25% and attack by 20% for two turns. Afterward, Daisy has a 25% chance to act one extra turn. Uh, this is kind. Of, this is nice, okay. But look at this exclusive one. Look at this exclusive one. Art of Violence. Additionally, increases all allies' critical damage by thirty percent for two turns as well. So we're buffing crit rate, we're buffing crit damage and attack. So it's very, very nice. And she has the chance of an extra turn as well. Free turn cooldown, so it's very strong. Now this next one is very fun to play with. Daisy increases her turn meter by 9% whenever she obtains one layer of attribute buff. This does increase furthermore by an extra 6%. And exclusive level 2, Daisy increases her turn meter by 2.5% whenever an ally, excluding self, obtain, obtains one layer of attribute buff. So when she's uh, when she's self like buffing everyone, she's also not only got this chance to act one extra turn, but she's also increasing her turn meter insanely. Now her final active skill deals 200% attack damage to all enemies. Each layer of attribute buff, Daisy increases the damage of his skill by 15% up to one uh, up to 75%. So if we consider this a moment, 215, 230, 245, 310% attack damage to all enemies is the maximum. And at exclusive level 3, Giant Rabbit Befall has 15% extra critical damage up to 75% for every layer of attribute buff that Daisy has. Um, so, you know, we're really pushing the crit damage there as well. You know, in theory, it reads wonderful, um, but how does it really work in, you know, in battle? Um, so we, we did just cover her exclusives already. The, the final two are speed 20. Uh, let's have a look at, little look at her emblems. These are the emblems are built, not quite completely built. We're just missing uh, one section here and then two on here. But this is what I have selected. If you want to go through and snip this and copy that to your daisy, feel free. Um, we chose the attack, we chose direct damage increases, and we have a buff. Obviously, we ignored the damage over time increases, and we selected critical damage too. Uh, we obviously checked this one was kind of big, better and better because we have the chance of um, if uh, wait, so, so when we inflict an attribute buff or debuff, it, there's an 18% chance to increase the duration by one turn, so that's nice as well. Um, auras, what did we do for the auras? We went on to Victory Rush Aura, which is increased direct damage dealt. Other than that, let's say you're using um, greens. I mean, Pristine Attack Aura is going to do nothing because when she has an attribute buff, she's always going to critical hit anyway. Um, she doesn't do any effect hits. So it's kind of like, I mean, like Extreme Evasion Aura, meaning she can take less damage would be kind of nice. Brutal Recovery Aura would be okay as well. But you're not going to get any benefit from this green pristine attack aura. After that, we probably want to go down. Because she's taking turns often. Because she's taking turns often. We could throw on... Um, where is it? We had this trouble in the last video. Ignore me. Uh, Victory Rush Aura is a very good one. I think that's what I'm using at the moment. Yes, I am. Victory, uh, uh, Victory Rush Aura is a very good one. We could go down the route of uh, Recovery Horn Aura. But, you know, she's not going to have a lot of health anyway, so ignore me. We're not going to use Recovery Horn Aura, but she does get a lot of turns, and that's nice. Um, speed Mark Aura, possibly, but then it's for Tower of Mark only. Mastery Surge Aura would be nice, giving mastery to our allies, and they're probably never going to be without it. Um, deep Targeting Aura, possibly, as well, would be a good one to go for. Um, and then the Legends, I mean... You, you, legends for an epic hero i mean you're going to want to choose something like i mean shield smash aura would be okay um and was it the combat vanguard aura would be a very good one too even skill master aura would be would be okay as well but you know it's very rare that you're going to have legends to put onto an epic anyway now let's have a little look at the equipment and what we went for um her equipment isn't the best okay so 
please be aware of that in this as well. She currently has a bloodthirsty set on her, which I kind of wish I didn't have to use because you can see it has affected on it. And uh, defense rate, which is doing nothing for her. The chest has affected in crit rate, which again is not really doing anything for her. Why have I got these on? But then we have a slay set with affected again. Attack, uh, it's, it's, it's still all doing nothing. This, this gear is so bad. This gear is so bad. This gear, we're literally just getting a slay set bonus. Um, in theory, what we want to go for is why is it recommending health? Why is it recommending health? Why is the... That makes no sense. That makes no sense. That makes zero sense. Why the game is recommending health for this hero. Um, speed, I can understand. Crit damage is essential and attack is essential. So you're going to want to have like attack, crit damage and speed. But why is it recommending health? I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. But you're going to want to go for either attack, crit damage. Um, the fact that she self buffs crit rate means that we don't need to go for a crit rate set. I mean, obviously Slay has a bit of both in them. But you could probably get away with a pure crit damage set on her. Uh, for the fact that her basic has a 100% chance to crit with an attribute. She does self buff some crit rate. We could then choose crit rate on the first artifact. And substats could possibly get her up there. So attack, crit damage. You could maybe mix crit damage and crit rate together. Um, speed set possibly if you had really, really good rolls. Um, other than that, you're going to want to go for the slay. Uh, bloodthirsty set as well. I mean, like... The crit rate here isn't huge, but the attack... Wait, this is a wild set, isn't it? I've got a bloodthirsty set here. Maybe, maybe that leech will be helpful. Maybe that leech will be helpful. But you're just going to really want to focus any set that grants you crit damage. Maybe a little bit of crit rate if you're really lacking elsewhere. Um, possibly speed if you have good attack stats and good crit damage stats. Or the attack set is also very good. Now, artifacts. We're going to want to go for the crit damage. We're going to want to choose attack rate. Crit rate is okay, you know, we're near our, near our peak for that. I've chosen Effect Resistance because it had some crit damage on it. It had a bit of attack rate. It is only a five-star piece, so it's not huge. And it has a little bit of crit rate as well to increase our chance of getting a crit on that final active skill we have. Now, I've chosen Speed. Of course, I've chosen Speed. We always choose Speed. Some attack rate. Unfortunately, the Effect Hit is doing nothing there, but I don't believe I have anything better to put in place. Um, I mean, this could possibly... Is it going to roll? Let's find out. Oh, it did. It, it did roll. It did roll. Okay, we'll take it. Crit damage go? No. Bad rolls. Bad rolls. Okay, but we'll take that. That's fine. Um, now, let's have a little look to see how she performs. Um, let's see what kind of team we can build her with. And as always, guys, we, I know we always go into campaign. Okay, we always go into campaign 1210. Um, how will she do in here? We're going to take out the likes of these. We're going to throw in Catherine. We're going to throw in space. We're going to throw in space. Um, and we're going to throw in, obviously, Daisy. We have to have Daisy there. And one other. One other. Should we say... Let's go for Hoff. Let's go for Hoff. I don't think we're going to clear this by no means. But it'll be interesting to see how much kind of damage she can put out in the waves here. Um, so turn me to gain straight away, obviously from space. You know, we're nearly full already here. Let's put on counter attack. Uh, let's put on some health burning from Hoff. Now, now, let's, you see her turn me to bar here. What? Just watch this. It's wonderful. It's so, it's so fulfilling. So we're going to buff with our crit rate, crit damage and attack. I'm just watch her turn me to here. Oh, it's wonderful, right? Although it did it did hit that chance of getting an extra turn. You've seen how much it increased. You've just seen how much it increased. Now we also have the buff to... Um, I think it's a crit damage buff and attack buff to this. So let's just have a little look to see how much we do. Let's put it on speed 2. 315,000 AoE. That's nothing to shy away at. You know, that's good damage. But not only is she doing good damage, she's also increasing the stats for everyone. Which makes it, you know, it makes it really, really nice. A 
148 on her basic. 339. Wait, was that Hoff or was that... Was that Hoff then I attacked with? That was Hoff, wasn't it? No way was it Daisy hitting with 349. No, ignore me. Ignore me. All right, so now we get to self buff again. Here straight away. And the turn meter is increased. We didn't get that chance uh, of getting the extra turn completely. Now we get a chance to nuke. Was that 560k with the defense down and the tenacity down? Wow, that was massive. That was so good. I'm really impressed by that. I'm really impressed by that. 170 there from her basics. She gets another turn. 202,000 with the feed bonus down. Okay, so we're into the boss. 39 turns so far through the waves. We're going to speed him down straight away. There we go. That's why space is so good for this boss, guys. That's why space is so good. Okay, south buff. Here we go. Turn meter increase. Now, I know that the boss is going to strip some buffs in a moment. But we really have a lot stacked on here. Okay, let's go straight in for a nuke. 362,000 there on that one. Oh, she got stunned. Okay, buff everyone, and then that turn again straight away. 328,000 on a single target with defense down two and feebleness down two. Um, sorry, it's there. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, we're going to get debuffed, I think, now, so we'll save our counter attack. He's going so slow, isn't he? That's, that's space. That is space for you. She is so good. 697,000 there. 69... <laughs> From freaking Daisy? From Daisy? Wow. I really like her. Look at this. 328 on the basic. So good. <laughs> Daisy pushing out 6 million damage against Campaign Hell 12 10. More than Hoff. More than Hoff. That is impressive. And Hoff has some pretty good gear on, guys. Hoff has some pretty good gear on. That's really impressive. Daisy looking strong, really, for an epic, especially looking strong. Okay, what is she like in Faction Abyss? What's she like in Faction Abyss? We're going to have to go back a little bit. And we're going to just put her in... We're going to put her in Stage 13. Stage 13. Um, we're going to throw her in with Elec and Space, just for some protection. So that we can see kind of how much damage that she's doing. <laughs> I can't believe she hit so hard against the campaign. <laughs> All right, let's have a little look how she does here. Can she nuke this down? Uh, let's put a shield on. That's going to increase our turn meter as well. So don't forget that. From other buffs from allies, we're increasing the turn meter as well. Here goes a nuke against 190 level enemies. 495, and they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. They're dead. I mean, Alec just hit for 134, but... You know, what is the cooldown on this? Four turns. All right, it's not too bad. 274 as a basic. 214 as a basic from space. But space does have quite a, a good basic attack here anyway. Fringe, these buffs are insane. These buffs are helping so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, kill him. Oh, it was that like Zulu? Must have resisted that. I say he didn't get a crit. All right, no extra turn. 
217, 132. How much can her AoE do? 516, that's nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Two two seven on the basic. I'm just unsure why the game would have said to build it with health. Like, what, what's that all about? That, is that an error? That must be an error. It has to be an error. Five point seven million. Let's say that's very good for Daisy. Uh, she's doing great, right? This is an epic hero, okay? And she has very much versatility. Can she be used in the likes of Tower of Mark, though, is the question. Who would we pair her with? I'd say earlier on, yes, she can be used. She can be used earlier on. Um, crit rate, crit damage, attack rate buff. She may help with the Poisoners. She will help with the Poisoners, especially the likes of Turf and Anita. Yeah, because it's nice for Turf to have some crit rate and crit damage, plus obviously the attack rate increases the poison damage, but it's nice because he actually has very good multipliers on his attacking abilities. So he's going to benefit from the crit rate and crit damage as well. She's also going to benefit the likes of Dario with buffs. Let's just go into floor 21. Which floor is this? Jeez, isn't this the one that... Yeah, alright, we'll just try this a second. Obviously, it's nice with bleeds as well, with that attack increase. Alright, let's have a little look. Uh, 21, I mean... I want to see how she does in comparison to Hisaro and Dario. She's going to be a very nice pair for Dario. See, I told you she'd be good with Dario. I told you she'd be good with Dario. Um, jeez. All right, so we're going to be on a boss in a moment. I know this is only floor 21. I mean, you say only. Floor 21 isn't terrible, you know. Let's put on some buffs here. Now, self buff, here we go. Extra turn, how can she do against these? Three, seven, six, and then Greta countered it. Blech. We'll leave Greta there in a moment. You see how, you know, they're so nice that she's buffing the likes of, say, Dario as well for his attack. Um, definitely a really fun hero actually because not only is she doing good damage she's also increasing the damage of say let's say Dario Hisaro as well it's it's really really nice 356 212 from her oof yeah, I, I like her. I like her. I mean, you, you let me know what you guys think, because no one's spoken about Daisy. What do you guys think? How do you... F oh, she did more than Daria. I know she's doing her AoE. She did more than goddamn Hisaro. If my Hisaro got gear on, I just need to... I'm going to check that really quick here, right now. Because no way did he have gear on there. If I take any gear off of him... Wow, he did have gear on him. What? Okay, guys, a bit of a long video, but you know what? Daisy really did deserve it. Can she be used in PvP as well? Yes, she can. She can. It's tricky, though. It's tricky. She's definitely not a Poseidon replacement or anything like that. Um... You know what? All right, we're not going. We're not going. We're going. We're going to test her in PvP quickly. How much kind of damage that she's doing? Um, I'm not attacking cricket. 
you're not getting the satisfaction. We're going to attack. We're not attacking Hippo. Hippo, you're not getting the satisfaction either. Um, uh, okay, let's attack Hoaxer. <laughs> yes, we're going to attack Hoaxer, but ooh, this could be tricky. Friggin' hell. All right. This will be fun. Okay, Daisy, Daisy, I swear, Daisy, if you mess this up, if you mess this up, Daisy, we are finished. We, me and you are finished, right? Just saying, we are finished. Um, mm. See, I really do want to use the nuke from... Oh, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. No. All right, we're testing it. It won't work. It won't work. Oh, it's pointless me bringing in. Daisy with Poseidon because we need those buffs for the extra if we did more damage. No, it's not gonna work. Ignore me. Ignore me guys. Right, who else are we bring in hit Catherine? Uh we could bring in Elena to to, to really cause some issues, but we're not. Um Asindo Nasil, Margarita, Daisy, and Catherine. Here we go. Hoaxer, enjoy. Enjoy. Um oh his Asindo's kind of fast. Okay, now, the beauty of this is, is that we can now buff Margarita with Daisy, and we are kind of relying on that extra turn, however, which happened, it did happen. All right, even more interesting, how much damage can Daisy do against this team, which is very well geared, okay? Not bad, not bad, and I mean, he's she's buffed up uh, Margarita here. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, what's the what's the stats like? I want to see how much damage she did. One point five million. Okay, that was a good bit of fun. All right, guys, I think Daisy can be used in PvP as well. I know it was only the one like show of it, but well, yeah. I mean, don't rule her out. She's definitely, she could be definitely used in advanced arena. Um, that's it, guys, for now. I'm Cars at the Ball. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like, subscribe, and comment below. Take care, everyone. Have a great day or evening, wherever you are.